What's up, y'all? This is Political Media. It's just a quick update to this whole Yellow Beezy arrest. So, y'all know he was arrested last night over at Oak Cliff. And uh, we weren't certain why just yet, but many of us uh, assumed that it had something to do with the Mo3 situation, which it probably still do because from what it looks like, he's charged with some um, felonious stuff. But the first part is not. I think I got it here. Here, let's see. Here, the first part is he was char he was uh, pulled over initially for a vehicle entering highway from a private road or driveway, which I'm not sure what I'm not sure what that is. Then also for ran a stop sign and yield signs. That's the second charge. The big one though. It says unlawful carrying of a weapon. Hmm, and there is a judge assigned to it and a warrant number as well. And it does say it's bond amount of $1,000, but there's no bond amount on the other, so I'm not sure how this process works. I ain't never been in jail. So I'm not sure if he can get out because the bond is set for unlawful carry. Y'all let me know in the comments. Um, but there's no bond amount set for the other charges, so does that mean he can't get out? I don't know. I'm not sure how that, not sure how that works, but... Uh, I would assume that the unlawful carry is federal, right? Is there a federal investigation going on with him about the Mo3 thing that we don't know about? Is this kind of a, a gateway into getting him for that or investigating him even further, even further for that? I might be reaching, but I think there's a story here. He was booked in at 10.50 last night, but he was arrested way before then, so he took a minute. Actually, uh, another uh, YouTube blogger, I wouldn't even call him a blogger, but he has a YouTube, he's a rapper, pretty known guy, Duke Farrell. Um, a lot of respect for Duke Farrell. He's been very, he's been ahead of this story for a long time and been putting information out. A lot of people didn't believe it. A lot of people didn't, didn't like a lot of the stuff he's saying, but a lot of truth he's throwing out. He said on his show this morning that, uh, well, he actually called the, the the county, actually, to call the police, the, the jail. He actually called the jail, and the jail basically said that he was in for the weapons charge and that it was going to be a minute before he got the chance to really to see a judge, to be before a judge, probably either after Tuesday, Tuesday or after that. So he's he's gonna get some probably get some time. I'm pretty sure this is almost like the uh, the Lil Wayne situation. But Lil Wayne was lucky and got pardoned by Trump. I don't see that happening in that situation. So anyway, so this is just a quick update to the story. And as I said, we're gonna continue to follow it. And um, y'all stay tuned. When more stuff comes out, we'll be reporting it. Like, subscribe, comment. Until next time, peace out.